Video number one, Intro to Computational Modeling, focusing on Schrodinger equation, density functional theory, cone shape method, and the DFT code, siesta. What is a computer modeling? Computer modeling is to use computers to model devices and the materials. For example, and we can uh, model this engine block for a car. We can also model materials on macro scale, micro scale, nano scale, atomic scales using computers in order to predict the structures properties and the performance of these materials. Why is computer modeling important? The National Research Council states that integrating materials, computational tools, and information with sophisticated computational and analytical tools already in use in engineering fields promises to shorten the material development cycle from its current 10 to 20 years to 2 or 3 years. The materials development cycle includes the discovery of the materials, development of the materials, property optimizations of the material, system design and the integrations, certifications, manufacturing of the devices and the materials, and the last step, introductions of the devices and the material into the market. So we want this materials development cycles to be shortened by 10 times through integrating the computational tools in the discovery and development and the manufacturing of the materials and the devices. There are many types of computer modeling methods, including quantum mechanical simulation, molecular dynamic simulation, mesoscale modeling, and finite element modeling. All these modeling methods vary with length and the time. This class only focuses on quantum mechanical simulations. This method is based on Schrodinger equations and the wave functions. We can use this method to study electronic degree of freedom, atomic interactions, bonding, and energy estimations. We can also study structures, properties, and the performance of the materials using the quantum mechanical simulations. What is Schrodinger equation? Schrodinger equation is the basis for all quantum mechanical simulations of the electronic structure of a materials. And this is the Schrodinger equation. H represents Hamiltonian operator. E represents the energy of the material. And this is the wave functions. We want to solve this Schrodinger equation for wave functions. Unfortunately, it is not easy to solve this Schrodinger equation for the material with many electrons. That's why we need to use assumptions. The first assumption we use is to simplify any electron system to a one electron system plus an external energy. The second assumption is to simplify all energy terms, including kinetic energy, interaction energies between nucleus and electrons and between electrons written as functions of electron density and which is called density functional theory. Based on these two assumptions and we can expand the Hamiltonians into this simple format including kinetic energy, potential energy, representing the interaction between nucleus and electrons and also the potential energies representing electrons interactions and this is the wave functions for the electrons and this is the eigenvalues representing electrons energy. The next step is we need to use quantum mechanical simulation code and to solve this equations and for the wave functions. 
all energy terms, including kinetic energy and interaction energies between nucleus and the electron, and between electrons, can be written as functions of electron density. So, determine electron density for the material is the key. We can use a siesta, which is a quantum mechanical simulation code, to help us determine the electron density of the materials. Siesta uses this flowchart to determine the electron density of the materials and also to find the ground state of the materials. On the first step, Siesta initiates electron density for the materials. After that, it evaluates the Hamiltonians because the Hamiltonian is a function of electron density. And then it solve this Schrodinger equation for new wave functions. From the wave function, and we can get the new electron density. If the new electron density is not the same as the input electron density, that means this calculation is not converged. And so the siesta will return to the first step and use this new electron density as the input electron density to evaluate the Hamiltonian and solve the Schrodinger equation to get another new electron density. If this new electron density is the same as the input electron density, that means the calculation is converged. The siesta will calculate the forces applied on um, the materials and also update the, um, the atoms' positions. Siesta will see if the forces are small enough, for example, smaller than 0.01 electron volt per Armstrong. And then that means the, the code already find the ground state structures of the materials. OK, now you already have some general ideas about uh, the basic concepts of quantum mechanical simulations and the siesta code. What parameters do you need to specify to set up a siesta simulation? They include atomic coordinates for the structure you want to study, exchange correlation functional, basis function, k-point density, and the mesh cutoff. The definitions for all these parameters can be viewed on the video number two, Input Parameters for Siesta Simulation.